Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today I am here to share with you some of my favorite products. Um, y'all know I used to do monthly favorites, but I felt like that was just too like overwhelming, <laughs> honestly, because I don't wanna have to come up with a bunch of products every month that I'm loving. And if I get to be like trying a lot of different things or I find that there are things that I'm loving every month and I will do them monthly, but I'm not gonna like set myself up for that. <laughs> so, I do them when I feel like there's stuff I want to share. So today um, I have beauty, I have some random like food type things, I have a couple of luxury things, so I'm going to go ahead and just jump right into it. So we're going to start off with beauty because generally that's what I always do. Um, and first we'll start with the lip product that I'm wearing. So this is Kat Von D Bow and Arrow and this is an old favorite of mine. I actually featured it in a blog post that I posted I think earlier this month. I will try to link it down below um, about my favorite nude lippies. This is an oldie but a goodie and I recently I had to repurchase it because mine was super old and I repurchased it and it got stuck in a purse somewhere and I could not find it. I recently found it and I've been loving it. <laughs> so like I said, I am wearing it today and I just feel like it's like my my perfect nude. Um, it is a bit cool tone, so I know like for some people you can think it may look make you look too dead, just you know, kind of depending on your skin color. But for me, I actually really like the look. I like, I like how it's muted enough. Um, and it's not exactly my skin tone but just like a little bit darker and a little bit cooler than my skin tone i just feel like it's very flattering especially like with certain pretty much any makeup look honestly like today i'm not really even i'm not even wearing any eyeshadow or anything it's very basic and i feel like it works but i've also worn this like when i've done a lot with my eyes and then i put this on and i feel like it works so really good kat von d um what are these called liquid everlasting liquid lipsticks I have a really good formula i'm not a huge fan of cat D the person <laughs> actually i'm not a fan at all <laughs> but i do like these uh, liquid lipsticks from her they're, to me they're quite comfortable and they're long lasting and they're not overly drying so i do recommend these <clears throat> the next part i want to share with you is actually an eyebrow pencil and Honestly, I'm kind of surprised I have a brow pencil to show you guys because I kind of stick to the same brow products. I do run through them a lot, so I do repurchase them a lot. And this time when I got ready to repurchase, I was going in to get my little L'Oreal um, definer, whatever it's called, the, the triangle one that I always use. And um, I just decided to, that I wanted to try something different. So I picked up this one from Maybelline, and this is called the Brow Ultra Slim. And I have mine in the shade Deep Brown. And this one is more of a, like, just a thin tip pencil. So this is, like, similar to, like, the ABH Brow Is. So it's just a very thin tip, which will allow you to get, like, precision. And I really just have been enjoying it. It lasts all day. The color works really well for me. It's smooth, but not, like, so, like, creamy that it's going to, like, end up all over your face. I feel like it's just very easy to work with. I'm wearing it today, and I've been wearing it a lot to work. I've been keeping it in my upstairs, um, in my bathroom upstairs, where I get put on my makeup sometimes, most of the time, actually. <laughs> so I've been getting a lot of use out of it. So I we'll highly recommend this if you're looking to try a different brow pencil. And the, this one was relatively inexpensive. I think it was like $7. So this is actually even cheaper than the L'Oreal one. So I'm really happy I decided to try this out. The next product that I have is by MAC. And this is another oldie but a goodie. <laughs> this is the Mineralized Skin Finish. I have mine in the shade Dark. And I'm not even sure if the packaging still looks like this because I know MAC has kind of changed some of their packaging. But this is what mine looks like. I've had this actual product for a long time. And for a long time, I didn't use it. But for some reason, I've really started like picking it up again. I've really been enjoying it. I've been wearing this either um, to set foundation. If you've been following me a long time, you know I don't always set my foundation. And I still don't always set it. But for some reason, my skin has been feeling like a lot oilier, oilier lately. And so I feel like my face can handle a bit more setting powder. <laughs> Whereas before my face was more like normal. Setting powder would just make me look dead. And then I have to spray it down. But even still, I just, 
I wasn't really like gelling with um, setting powder, so I really wasn't using any. But like I said, my skin has gotten a bit oilier, oilier and so I started setting some of my foundations with this, and I, I just love the look of it. It sets the makeup in place, but it doesn't provide too much extra coverage, and it does not make me look dry and cakey or dead. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even usually spray my face after using this, so that's what I really like about it. I also like that it gives a little bit of coverage, so sometimes, like I said, I use this to set my foundation, but other times I use this just with like concealer underneath my eyes. I go all over my face if I'm trying to do just like a really super quick look. Um, so I've been doing that quite a bit, honestly. And the other thing that I like about this is I can actually touch up with this powder without my face looking cakey. So for instance, today I'm filming right now at 7.30. Um, my makeup has been on since about 7 a.m. this morning, so it's been about 12 hours. And what I did right before I turned the camera on was just take a fluffy brush and just powder like my nose and like this area of my forehead so it didn't look so shiny. And no, it doesn't look like, you know, super freshly applied makeup, <laughs> but it still looks pretty good. I really feel like this helps to extend the wear of my makeup when I'm not gonna like redo my whole face, if that makes sense. So that's it for makeup. I do have a nail polish that I wanted to share with you all. And unfortunately, I'm not wearing it today, but I will try to include a clip or a picture if I can find one of me wearing it. Uh, but this is from D&D, &D. the shade is Papaya Whip. And I just really like this because it's a nice light nude, but I feel like it's more appropriate for my skin tone as opposed to like a white, white pink nude. <laughs> That doesn't make any sense. Um, this is a white pink nude, but it's not super white and it's not super pink. And I don't know, I just feel like it goes better with my skin tone. This is horrible. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but I'll either insert a picture or you know, you guys can Google this color and just see it. But I just really feel like it was flattering for my nails. Um, this is like the regular polish, which I used on my toes. I, um, but on my nails, I actually used the gel, which I really like. It's just that you can see the color through this. So I really like it. I feel like it is a light nude, but it is very unique. And I got a lot of compliments while I was wearing that one. I also have a hair product, which doesn't happen very often. Uh, but this is my go-to gel for my wash and goes. And for a while, I had kind of stopped using it and tried to use up some of my other products that I have. But I've just come to the conclusion that this is probably the only gel I'm going to use for wash and goes from here on out because every time I go away from it, I miss it. So here we are. This is Curly Magic by Uncle Funky's Daughter. And what I really like about this is I get a defined look but not like super defined where I, like I can't even go out with my hair looking like that. So it gives me a lot of definition. I do have to like pick it out and fluff it out, but it's not to the point where like it won't fluff out, if that makes sense. For instance, when I used to use Kinky Curly Curling Custard, there were times that I felt like even if I picked it out, it still looked like super tight and super small. And yes, it was very defining and it did last a long time, but I feel like this is like the perfect, you know, in between. It it gives me super, it gives me really good definition, but I'm still able to fluff it out and I still feel like it lasts a long time. And I can touch up my hair with, with this without washing it and I don't get flaking or anything like that. And I also noticed that when I do my wash and goes consistently with this is when I get the most compliments on my wash and goes. Now my hair currently is not in a wash and go. This is actually a twist out that's probably about five days old. Um, so yeah, I'm not actually having this in my hair right now. But if you see me with a wash and go for the past few months, this is what has been in it. Most of the time. <laughs> there is another product that I use when I'm doing my quick wash and go that I've talked to y'all about before. But if I'm doing like a full on wash and go, this is what I use. I do have one fragrance that I wanted to share with you all. Now, you know, I've been on this fragrance kick for the past like four or five months. So I haven't really been sharing many favorites in my many fragrance favorites because I've been trying so many and like all of them are my favorite, honestly. <laughs> 
but this one I did want to share because I feel like this is one that I keep reaching for because of the way it makes me feel. And this is from Guerlain. This is part of the Aqua Allegoria line and it is Ginger Picante. And the reason I say I, I reach for it because of the way it makes me feel is because it's so like uplifting, energizing, and at the same time comforting. So it's one of those ones that I can reach for when I don't know what to wear. I don't have to think about it. It smells really good. It's light. It's perfect for really any daytime situation. Um, I do find that it lasts on my clothing. On my skin, it only lasts about four hours, but this is an eau de toilette, so, you know, it is what it is. I do feel like this is a good value for the money, though, so if I have to reapply it and I have to reapply it, I'm fine with that. I haven't, like, put any in, like, a... Y'all know I have the the atomizers that I can put in my purse. I haven't put any in that yet. However, I could definitely do that with this one if I, you know, wanted to have it out with me, but... Yeah, I've just been really loving this. I highly recommend it. And like I said, it's a good value for the money. I think this is 4.2 ounces and it retails for, I think I got it for $105, but on some sites I see it retailing for 130 and they're not like, the site I got it from wasn't a discounted site. It was Macy's, it was 105, but I think sex and Neiman's has it for like 130 but either way even if I paid 134 I feel like it's a good value for the money and it smells like candied ginger with a little bit of citrus in it um, very light and refreshing I also want to mention that even though this is winter clearly it doesn't feel like winter here like see what I'm wearing today and my kids wore shorts today and my husband wore shorts today it's like 80 something degrees today but even if I lived in a winter climate, I feel like this would still be appropriate, like all all seasons, because it's ginger, which kind of has that warming effect that you like in the winter, but it's also light and citrus, um, so I think it would be perfect for spring and summer as well. So that's it for my beauty items. I do have a few fashion type items that I wanted to share, and first I'm going to start out with the most fashionable thing, <laughs> and they are these slippers. <laughs> <laughs> they're not the most fashionable thing but I love them they are cute they are comfy they are from Madewell I purchased them from Nordstrom for like less than $15 I think um, I did do a post with them on my Instagram so make sure you follow me there but I think they still have these honestly so I really am happy with this slipper purchase like I said they were like $10 10, somewhere between 10 and $15 and they are super comfy and I just love wearing them like they make me feel so super uh -oh, comfy and cozy I've been wearing them all around my house and yeah in the bottoms I didn't show you the bottoms are like rubber soles so you won't slip and slide around your house they're dirty on the bottom it's tape from my children but um the bottoms are like a real sole so that's important for me because i have hardwood floors so i never like to be in anything that's too slippery like a sock um so yeah i guess you could wear them outside if that's what you're into but i don't wear slippers outside of my house so it is what it is but i do i really have been enjoying these um i do have a couple of luxury items to show y'all at first up is this wallet this is a louis vuitton zippy coin purse and this is in the giant reverse monogram no just giant monogram print so you see it has the big lv on one side and the fleur de lis i think it's what it's called on the other side and then the it has the treated vachetta tab so this matches perfectly with my uh what's it called Boit Chapeau Souple, yes. This matches perfectly with that, which is one reason why I wanted to get it. And I don't always match my purses and bags, but when I saw this, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't get it out of my mind. It was limited edition. It's not currently available on Louis Vuitton's website, but they do have a bunch on like Fashion Foul. Cause you know, people buy stuff like this that's limited edition and then they sell it cause they can make money off of it. So, um, 
I did get mine from Fashion File, but I got it when Fashion File had like a coupon or something running. So I did not pay. I paid like the same amount as retail with tax. Actually a little bit under what it would have cost retail with tax and mine was brand new. So the Zippy Coin purse is nothing new. Um, it's been around for ages, but I didn't have a canvas one. Um, I did have an emprunt one, but I sold that one because I was not using it. I showed y'all that in the SLG video and I told you that I was thinking about selling it. Well, I sold that one and got this one and I am super happy with this. I've been using it pretty much daily since I got it. I do switch into my card case sometimes, but I haven't really reached for any of my other wallets besides my card case, like my, you know, my YSL card case. Y'all have seen those. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just so happy with this purchase. I love it so much and I'm thinking, I have another wallet, it's the Louis Vuitton Victorine that I purchased last year. I'm thinking I may sell that because I really don't use it and I've realized that I really like wallets that zip. Um, these work the best for me. I can stuff all my cards into them and I just feel like they're just enough organization where you know everything i know everything has its place but it's not so much that i have to slip everything into its little slot you know so zippy coin purse highly recommend even if you don't get this print if you get the regular monogram i still think it's a great little piece and i'm super happy with this and then the purse i wanted to share with y'all is also from louis vuitton and it's one that i got for my anniversary and it is it was a gift from my husband it's the pochette matisse in rose poudre and the reason i wanted to share this is of course it's a favorite because it's a gift from my husband but it's been a favorite however i had kind of put it away when winter kind of rolled around fall winter i had put it away because you know i'm wearing all my dark bags and you know but recently i pulled it back out and i realized this still works in the winter like it's just like the perfect light shade of pink. So I've been pairing it a lot with gray. I've been pairing it with blue, like what I have on a day. I didn't wear it today because I wore my uh, blue YSL bag, but it goes well with blue. It goes well with gray. It goes well with, I don't know, pretty much any color you could think of. I, I don't like it with red and I don't wear it with black either, but pretty much any other color, maybe not orange either, but y'all get what i'm saying i feel like it goes with a lot so even though it's a pink bag it's almost like a neutral and i've really just been enjoying wearing this again so i feel like this is like a great year-round color because of course it goes well in the spring and summer but it also works in the fall and winter too just depending on what you're wearing so as far as color transfer i haven't really noticed any and what i've been doing is after i use this bag for a few times and i get ready to put it away again I will wipe down the bag just to make sure that I get any like dirt off just because the color is so light but I don't like baby this bag I wear my bag so I don't like throwing them on the ground or anything like that but at the same time like I'm not like super careful with them either so super happy with this bag y'all know the Pochette Matisse gets so much love on Instagram YouTube so we all know it's a great bag and I'm glad that I have mine and I love this color. All right, and the last two items I have to share with y'all are actually food-ish. No, actually they're beverages. So, first up is this hot chocolate. I've been meaning to share this for a long time because I've been drinking this since like fall hit. So, so probably since like October I've been drinking this but I kind of forgot to share it with you all. But this is the Duck, Dunkin' Donuts uh, milk chocolate hot cocoa and it's for the K or a Keurig. It's the K cup. Love this stuff. It's really good. It's only 70 calories. Of course, this is not like the healthiest thing, but I find myself like I love eggnog. So I did drink a little bit of eggnog for Christmas, but I only allowed myself to buy one bottle. I only drank it for like three days because it's such, you know, it's so high calorie. It's fattening. So yeah, I just. I only allowed myself that little bit of it. So this is kind of replaced eggnog for me because previously I would drink eggnog for like months. <laughs> like from November through January, I would be drinking eggnog. So this is kind of a replacement. Like I said, it's 70 calories. I don't drink it every day, but when I want like something sweet at night, especially, um, this is like a go-to for me. So I highly recommend it. I've only seen it at Walmart. 
um so yeah i don't know who else sells it but i got mine at walmart i think 24 of them were like 12 dollars or something like that so not that expensive and then the very last thing I have to share with you guys is only for the 21 and up crowd. So if you're under that, you're probably not watching this video. But if you are, this ain't for you. <laughs> but beer, I have some beer I want to share with y'all. So I did share one of these on my Instagram and that is this one. This is the Corona Premier. And this is like a new-ish, lower calorie, low carb beer. It probably came out maybe a year ago. I've been drinking it for probably as long as it's been out. My husband actually is the one who started seeing the commercials for it and he bought it. I think at the time I was on keto. <laughs> and this is actually kind of keto friendly, believe it or not. So it has 90 calories and 2.6 grams of carbs in this. Now, of course, beer is not healthy food, but if you like beer and you want a not so bad for you one that still tastes really good i highly highly recommend this one um this is like my favorite beer i don't like all beers i'm not like really a beer drinker but it's kind of like a mood thing for me so if i'm sitting watching basketball with my husband i want to drink a beer like i just feel like it goes or if i'm eating pizza which is also something i shouldn't be doing but if i am i want to drink a beer with it so this is the one i turn to <laughs> Um, the only bad thing I would say about this is these are kind of expensive. Um, I think for like maybe anywhere from 12 to 16 cans, it's like $17. So I feel like that's kind of expensive, but I do really like it. So we typically buy them when they're on sale and both my husband and I drink these. Now recently I picked up, well, my husband picked up this other brand that's new, um, that's similar to the Corona Premier. I think it's like a rival but this one is called saint archer gold and this one does taste similar to the corona and it is low calorie again it's nine, 95 calories 2.6 grams of carbs i don't like it as much as a corona premier but it is pretty good so i have let's say i have three favorite beers so this one is my favorite second up is soul sol which is not low calorie and then third would be this one so it's a light beer i don't really know how to describe beers because honestly i don't really drink them that much but these are nice to have so <laughs> anyway that is it for my favorites i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what your favorite product of the month was down in the comments below and if you are not subscribed oh no i just dropped my beer oh well um if you're not subscribed please do click the notification bell because you know youtube doesn't show us all the videos anymore i never really mentioned that because i know it gets aggravating to continue hearing it but i'm mentioning it tonight so anyway thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you in my next one bye